Okay, uh, this is Andy with MMA.ca here with Gavin Tucker victorious tonight at Extreme Cage Combat 14 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Gavin, I gotta say I've had the pleasure of watching you fight a, a handful of times now, and you impressed even more tonight than you have in the past. Uh, your opponent, Robert Rende, came in with a very good pedigree. He was known as a very good grappler. I think that after watching him, I was very impressed by him tonight, so the fact that you pretty much control the fight from start to end, that says a lot about you. Thanks. Appreciate it. He, he was definitely the toughest fight yet. Mm -hmm. got, got to the third round in this one. Just happy to, to get the finish. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people, if they had met you on the street and they didn't know you were a fighter, they'd probably call you sweet. Sweet's a really nice word to describe. You're a super nice kid. Uh, you know, you play jazz music. You got the jazz hands. You're really nice. Everyone really likes you. But something happens when you get in the cage and, you know, you get in the wins last night. It's just like you're a, a totally different person. Does that come naturally or is that something that you make yourself do? I just get really, like, really emotionally attached to fights. I guess that's just how I deal with it. Everybody approaches it differently. I, I didn't mean any disrespect to Rende at all just by getting in his face. I just... Don't really know what's going to happen until you see a guy. You're looking at him. You're thinking about him for you know eight weeks or more, and and you're dieting, you're dehydrated, you're angry. You got this guy's head. You train, you suffer for him. So obviously, things like that I think are going to happen when you when you come face to face with him. It's a fist fight in a cage. It's, I'm not I'm not going to be too sweet in there. <laughs> it was more than just a fist fight too. It was a really elegant fight. I mean, a lot of fights you watch, it's two guys in there swinging and they're not, they don't really know what they're doing. Your guys fight, the both of you tonight, you can tell you're both very skilled, both very tough, both had awesome cardio. You were going strong. I, I commented to somebody beside me that even you know two minutes into the third round or just before the fight ended in the third round, you both still had your hands up very high for that period of time in a fight. So your cardio was excellent. Did he surprise you how tough he was? Man, yeah, it's, it's jaw. His chin was just. I thought I caught him with some really stiff hooks. I felt it in my in my in my bones. I I thought I connected hard, and he just wouldn't go away. So he definitely had a chin, and and uh, yeah, I felt like both of our cardio was real good, and and it was it was a high pace fight. I sh I was digging for that choke in the first round. I thought I had it, and I made my arms a little heavy there at the end of that. Came with the second round, but they came back, and we kept swinging. So I'm really happy about how that went. You know what I mean? He caught me real real hard with that shot, and I went down, and got back up, and kept it going. Yeah. I can see for your lip right now, he must have caught you real good. He caught me good, he caught me good, but uh, I just got up and I just, you know, kept kept doing my thing, listening to Papa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I noticed, uh, uh, I gave you the, the first two rounds, I thought you won the first two rounds, 10-9, but the third round there was kind of a scary moment for you. I couldn't quite see what happened because it was being, somebody was in front of me, there was a stanchion there, but it looks like you slipped or you, or you got taken down. He caught me, he caught me with a punch and, uh, and it dropped me and I hit the ground and I just started scrambling, rolling and... Uh, just got back to my feet and kept going. So he definitely got a clean shot off. I won't, won't lie about that at all. No slip. I saw something new from you tonight too in your repertoire. Some of the uh, the leg work you were going for his ankle and legs a couple times. Is that something new you've been practicing? Because I haven't seen it from you before. Just working with guys like Mike Malott, real, real, real tricky jujitsu guys. You know what I mean? Got to got to start uh, adapting some of that into my game. And I know the tap star guys uh, are pretty pretty versatile with leg locks, foot locks, and stuff like that so I just tried to flip the switch on him and, and, and pull one of those off myself because it was maybe a little unexpected and, and it was there for me so I'm not going to just let it pass me by if, yeah. it, if it comes my way. Um, so now you're 6-0 and oh after a really good fight. Uh, you know you haven't been fighting you know poor opponents either you've been fighting talented opponents so you're 6-0 and oh undefeated. I definitely think you've got a bright future ahead of you at 145 in Canada. Uh, where do you see yourself going with this sport? Uh, just, I just hope some more 145ers you know in, in Atlanta Canada stand up and say something. We, we train really hard to find out who the best 145ers are and people people pay good money to find that out and they deserve to know and, and so do I so hopefully uh, a couple more fights from from here and whoever else in Canada wants to fight I'll, I'll fight whoever Papa tells me to. Right on for uh, people don't know who's Papa. Uh, Peter Martel, Big Papa. Take my number. Okay uh, last thing do you have anybody you'd like to thank before we finish? Everybody at Titans specifically Big Papa, Peter Martel, his paint by number, I do what he tells me to, he gets me uh, gets me ready for fights, Mikey Malott, there for the weight cut, there for every step of this fight, this guy got me ready, he's my brother, my blood, I, I owe him so much I can't even say it, he said over there now I love you, <laughs> and everybody at Titans and uh, just Wilson Titanium, everybody who sponsored this fight and to everybody who bought tickets and keeps supporting and uh, yeah that's it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Gavin. Congrats again on a really nice win. Thanks, Andy.